gigantic red and blue warp portals appeared over Italy and Hungary, accompanied by worldwide trumpet sounds. Last Monday, March 27, a huge red ring of light appeared in the sky over central Italy, and now it just so happens that a similar thing, only blue, appeared April 3rd over Budapest, Hungary. The gigantic red light ring over central Italy lasted only a few milliseconds, but Walter Binotto photographed it while observing the phenomenon from a small town of Po Sagno in the foothills of the Alps. And officials, as always, are trying to sell the weak-minded version of sprites, elves, and blue jets, while conspiracy theorists are pondering over Nibiru and the invasion of extraterrestrials. And on April 3rd, a similar phenomenon was observed over Budapest, but this time it was a blue color. So this is the blue ring over Budapest, Hungary. Supporters of Nibiru have their own topic. Everyone is discussing a similar spot taken these days in Germany. As, uh, and although the UFOlogists are seeing an alien mothership in every cloud, the other day scientists were strained by a nearby square cloud, which the wind could not blow away, having photographed it in maximum resolution and after passing it through filters, this is what he saw, he says. And there it is. Now nobody knows for sure what shone over Budapest and what happened in Italy and Germany, but what we know for sure is that nothing like this has ever happened in our memory. Previously, the media worked differently and uh, crowds of TV people flocked to every anomaly discussing the phenomenon of CNN, but there were no lights. There were square clouds, flying balls, rods, but not in such wild numbers, and they seem only very occasional, but now probably every third person has seen a UFO with his own eyes, so the, uh, the increase in the frequency of the phenomenon is obvious. In the last decade, many wonderful and incomprehensible things have appeared on planet Earth that have not been born here in particular, some sprites, elves and blue jets, types of uh, high clouds. Elves are the so-called emissions of light and very low frequency perturbations due to electromagnetic pulse sources. The abbreviation for this highly scientific blah 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 is precisely elves, E-L-V-E-S. And it's assumed that the rings are formed by exciting nitrogen molecules that are bombarded with electrons from lightning or a sprite in the center of the ring. A girl in space tweets for a few milliseconds Thursday night, an enormous 100 kilometer wide red ring of light appeared over West Texas. This is an ELV, short for emissions of light and very low frequency perturbations due to electromagnetic pulse sources, and it's a rare species of sprite, she said. Now, as it's clear from the video that's in the article here, it's impossible to photograph an ELF as well as a sprite. The phenomenon begins and ends very quickly, but you can re it on video and ta then take a photo. In relation to the red ring in Italy, Mr. Binotto does not show a photo with lightning in the center, so where did the electrons come from, which made nitrogen glow, remained undisclosed? Therefore, scientists now have come up with a new term, for example, ELVES 2.0, and it will denote a special kind of ELVES without a source, a dis to distinguish them from elves with lightning in the center. And in the light of the above, we see that some very serious changes are brewing in the world. Not only the new phenomenon of sprites, elves, and blue jets has appeared in the atmosphere, but this sensation is also somewhat mutating. Additionally, global news channels hush up other possibly interconnected to the huge rings phenomena, such as the mysterious trumpet sounds, and although the news are collected slowly, they gradually reach the masses. And you can see various uh, videos of these here. Now, everything around is jumping at some wild pace, and sooner or later, we'll get answers. We suspect that it will all end with a warp portal, and perhaps aliens will appear and officially lead everyone there. Or maybe Nibiru will appear, dropping its camouflage, allowing us to see it very close, just like Jupiter. Some of the above may happen in the very coming years, perhaps even months. And this is from Solask. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account.
The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box 